Welcome to the 14 day practice challenge. Today our focus is the decoration of the cut. Some people use different terminologies. So what I'm referring to is when we tap the string to interrupt the vibration of the note. For example, if we're just playing a cut on an open string, it would be me tapping my finger just to pause, the, uh, suspend the string for a second to suspend the tone and then click play the tone again. So that it will probably <laughs> be easier to understand it if you see it. The reason I'm so insistent on talking about it as an interruption is because it's different from a grace note. You're not actually going to tap the string to the point that you depress the string to the fingerboard and hear a tone. So I'm not playing so I can hear a D. Instead, I'm just tapping this, the string in a percussive way just to stop this tone for a second. So really slowly, that's... If you can hear the harmonic tone, I'm, pre I'm dropping my finger on the string. But if you can see it from this angle... There we go. I'm not actually pressing down. I'm just tapping the top of the string, and then I release. So the other thing to consider is once I tap the string, I also accent it with the bow. So I'm doing the two motions at the same time. So I'm going to go from um, A to first finger and then cut on every single note. And then I'm going to show you how I want you to apply this in the various tunes you've chosen. So A cut with my third finger. Then I'm going to cut first finger with my third as well. I'm going to cut second finger with my third. And then third finger with my fourth. Some people like to cut using their second finger. They find it a little bit looser. My, I find my third finger easier to cut and to keep it consistent and precise. What I'll have you do this week is uh, start by, or today, start by breaking down what a cut is and how it sounds. So pra practicing the percussive interruption. The other thing I want you to think about is how loose the relationship is here so that you're not squeezing, you're just keeping this nice and soft. Now, if we were to take those, that same decoration and put it into a tune, what would it sound like? I'm going to play the first chunk of Bridges Full of Stitches and show you how I would put it into a tune. So I tend to roll up and roll down. I roll up on my, from the B to the C sharp. Now again, I said B to C sharp, first to second finger, but I'm not actually sounding a C sharp. So B cut A, C sharp cut A. And what I just did there was to show you that it's not dependent on the note. I cut the first time using a second finger and I cut the, the second time using a third finger just to show you that you can interchange them. Decorations are really personal, so you can choose where you'd like to put them in your tunes. It doesn't have to be where I'm suggesting it, and that goes for the advanced tunes um, and intermediate tunes as well. So fool around with the cut today and then see how it feels and where you would like to put it into your tune. Thank you so much for joining me.